there too, and that's one of them. So I don't want to make too fine a point on it. I will quiz you on plagiarism. There's a quiz on it. Uh, one of the quizzes we'll take will discuss or uh, ask a question or two about plagiarism. I have a lecture in the introduction folder called On Plagiarism. I want you to read it if you don't understand it or if there's anything you want to understand in any more detail. I want you to post a question about it or email me personally. Um, you can't recycle papers either. So if you've ever taken this class before or a class like it at another school and you turned in a paper, don't turn that paper into this class because the database will pick that one up really easily and that will be an F2 um, for the course now, not just for the paper. An F for the course. So let's not go that route. Just don't do it. Just don't bother. If you're going to if you're tempted to take that kind of easy way out, just go ahead and drop now and be done with it. Even though I say all this, I, I'm preaching to the wrong people because the people who have bothered to watch the video all the way to this point are not the ones who are going to cheat. But toward the end of the semester, a few of you will get desperate and you'll say, oh, I'll just do it. I'll just go grab some stuff from book rags and Wikipedia and I'll throw it in and I'll change a word or two here or there and then I'll submit that and James will never be the wiser. Well, good luck with that. I, I think I'm going to catch you. I mean, seriously, my degree's in English, and uh, I'm, I'm a pretty good, uh, even without the software, I'm pretty good at telling when people are uh, not speaking in their voice. When you turn in something that sounds like a grad student wrote it, yeah, I know you probably didn't write it. Okay, that's all I want to say about that. Please don't do that. Don't make me be a cop. Let this be the one semester that nobody turns in somebody else's stuff and pretends like it's their own. I would love that. I would love one term where nobody fails this class because of plagiarism. All right. Um, what else to say? Uh, you know, after all that negativity, I want to wish you luck. You know, good luck. If uh, I'm, I'm happy that you're here. We'll see how many of you hang around. Uh, for the whole term. We're going to read some great stuff. There's been a lot of great literature written after the Civil War up to today. You won't like everything, but you'll find something you like, and you'll probably even find something that after this class is over, you'll read something else by that author. Somebody uh, that you encounter this semester will make an impact on you, and I think one of the great things about literature is it gives you a way to learn kind of about your culture in a way that's a little more palatable than just digging through history books. Because literature touches history, it touches philosophy, it touches religion, it touches whatever else that is going on in a culture. You can learn a lot about any culture by reading the literature it, it creates. Okay, So it's a good window into the past, really, and uh, quite an enjoyable one, I think. So this will be a cool class, I think. If you stick around, you'll uh, read a lot talk about some books, write some papers, do some literary research, be little junior literary critics, and uh, hopefully you'll do all right, you know? Uh, I've, I don't think I've ever seen anybody go the whole class and, and, and do all the assignments and still fail. You know, the problem is people don't do assignments. They skip an assignment. In this class, you skip a paper, you're out on your ear. But people will turn in the papers, some people will, and, and skip other things like class participation. Why skip that five percent easy stuff. Skip quizzes or not prepare for them and fail all of them. Um, you know, so those are ways that you can fail. But really, this is, you know, I know it's about, for you, I'm sure, it's about the grade, you know, primarily. For me, it's not, really. I wish that we didn't have to have grades. What I want, what I want is for people to read and think and write and try to do good work. And that's what's important to me. And I think grades take care of themselves if you if you go that route. That doesn't mean everybody's going to make an A. Some of you will jump into the discussion forums and you'll say, hey, I hate to read. I hate to write. I have three jobs and four kids and I sure hope I make an A. Well, yeah, of course you do, but uh, it's not likely given those parameters, right? It takes a lot of time to read and write and if in and if you hate reading and writing, that's just, you know, it's not going to not gonna fly. A few of you will make A's. A good handful of you will make B's. A few of you will make C's. A couple of you might make a D. A couple of you will probably fail for turning in plagiarized work, and some of you will just drop by the wayside at some point. But right now, while we're all together, let's jump into the forums for week one and uh, say hello to one another. We'll let your other classmates know a little about yourself so that we can get started on... Uh, uh, on the on the way together to learn a little something about American Lit. So you'll be seeing this in just a few hours, I guess, depending on when you first hit the class. And I'm going to go get some sleep, and uh, I'll see you in the forums. Bye.